What's up guys? Welcome back to my morning vlog. It's been a while since I've been on the YouTube, so we're getting back into it. And we're just getting ready with Tori's story. She's getting her eyebrows done, and then we're gonna go for our morning walk, so let's go. <laughs> Before we go for our morning walk, I think you Stop should use- that. What? Speak like Australian. I'm Australian, mate. I'm wearing right away, mate. Black. T, dyna dynamic range, shorts, right away mate, dynamic range again, code Jackson, also definitely is a right away hat, not a Gymshark hat, thanks for using my code mate. Oh! Fuck, that is loud. For whatever reason, everyone's smoke alarm's going off. Must be the battery. Fuck. No press, please. No press at this time, please. Look at my shoulder. Oh, that was from my shark attack, guys. What are those? <laughs> what are those? You gotta get in the ocean to be able to get a shark attack. Guys, Tori's scared of the ocean. She can't swim. If there's a not, rip, she's in the rip. I'm not scared of the ocean. I just seem to drown every time. She can't swim. I can in the pool. <laughs> Through the door. From the door. Ah. You break that, <laughs> I will knock you out. Ready? Sure, snap. Yeah! So now, after my morning walk, I generally unpack the dishwasher. <laughs> Where do we do it? Journaling. So after our morning walk, we like to journal and... Stop! You just drew on me! Yeah. Why? Because you're not stopping. Poisoning. I'll poison you more. I'll <laughs> poison you more. Why can't you just speak to your vlog like a normal... Because vlog? we're doing American edition. <laughs> you're not. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> you're not. <laughs> doing American edition. You're not. Guys, we're not. We're not. Fine, I'll just go do all the chores, dishwasher and clean house. <laughs> Breakfast complete, little bit of work done as well. We're off to get a haircut and then we're gonna do, or we've got a work meeting straight after that and then I'm into the gym. So yeah, not much to update you on. I am gonna speak about something later on which I do need your help with. So hang around for that. Give me a feedback, that would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> I could see you coming to this. <laughs> I didn't know what you were gonna do. So as I've started driving home from the gym, I had this car in front of me started beeping at me. And I was like, what the hell, that's weird. I pulled down the window and he said, you've got a flat tire. I swear, every time I drive Tori's car, I get a flat tire. Twice in Adelaide, got a flat tire. And now this one here, absolutely ridiculous. But, lucky, shout out dad, he taught me how to change a tire, so we should be sweet. So I think we've got this high enough off the ground so that we can now take the wheel off. So if you don't know how to change a tire, put that thing under, I don't know, the hard part. That's what she said! Don't know what it's called. Of the car, wind it up, get it up nice and high. Then we're gonna take these nuts off. Hold up, also skipping every second knob or whatever it's called, bolt. Don't know if you meant to do that. I know you meant to do that on the tightening face. So now we should be able to slide it off. Trying to find exactly where it is. There's a little, might be that there. Can't really see anything. Normally there's a nail or something in there. Anyway, knowing Tori, it's probably just a flat tire and needs pumping up. But we didn't notice anything this morning when we went for a walk, because Tori never pumps her tires up. So it's probably just flat, but. So now we got that tire off. We'll slide fake one on. I mean, it's not a fake tire, but. And then get your little bolts, tighten by hand. What a great way to spend your Monday. Now, 
This is where dad trick, dad's trick come in. We'll tighten about three quarters, skip to skip a bolt, go to the next one, skip another bolt. So you don't want to go directly next to you. Just make sure it's nice and even when you tighten it on. So they're about three quarters tightened. Now we'll go back to the start and tighten the second one again so the wheel doesn't fall off when you're driving. Generally a good idea. That there, my friends, is your tire. Now we'll just loosen this down and we should be good to go. So that is how you change a tire. Now I am no tradesperson at all. I'm the least of handyman as you could get, but hopefully we get home. It seems to be traveling well all right at the moment, but we're gonna go home, have some lunch, and then we're gonna get in, stuck into some editing. We're gonna be making sure we're nice and consistent with the uploads on the YouTube because it's something that I really wanna continue to grow. I definitely wanna at least hit a thousand subscribers by the end of this year, and then I'm gonna push forward and hard on the YouTube front from there. So I'm gonna to continue to keep grinding, um, but I do wanna speak about the podcast stuff. We got some peanut butter and jam bagels here, the absolute goat combo. I got home, had a quick lunch and was on the phone, which is why I haven't really recorded anything. Speaking to one of my best mates from Perth and then also speaking to my um, coach in Adelaide in Josh Oh, Gorman. And now I'm about to call mum and dad just to check in, to see how things are going. And then the rest of this afternoon will be focused on creating and editing a lot of content. So I'm going hard on the Instagram right now, but before... <laughs> Before I call mum and dad, I want to speak to you guys about a podcast. Now, the reason I want to speak to you guys is because I don't know the direction that I want to take this podcast. Now, I've been speaking about my story. I've launched episodes every day from Monday through Friday for the past three or four weeks, uh, which is quite a lot of episodes, and I probably should have broken it up to one a week. However, we've done it like that. It's out. It's done. But now I'm not sure where I want to take it because I can take it into, the, into a lane of giving advice to young footballers and helping them through different situations and those sorts of things. Or I can take an interview route or do a little bit of both. And I want your feedback. I want your comments. If you've listened to the podcast, I would love for you to drop some feedback in the comments below. Um, obviously, there's you go through periods where some people don't reach out at all. And then all of a sudden, there's four, five, six people messaging you saying how good the podcast is and those sorts of things. So it is tough to gauge where it's at. Um, we did have, I think, over a 1,000 downloads in a month or whatever. So pretty good going uh, for my first initial sort of part to it. And now I just want to, I don't know, I don't know what way I want to take it um, because... I've got a lot of big personal goals myself, like I want to make the AFL, and I don't know if putting out this content is going to affect my chances in getting there. I honestly have no idea, but yeah, I just want to continue to provide a heap of value. That's the whole point of the podcast is to continue to provide value, to help educate, inspire, and give the knowledge required for young kids coming through to help them achieve their dreams as well. On top of that, sharing my own story, my own journey in what I've been through to get to exactly where I am today. So let me know in the comments. That would be amazing. I'm going to go jump on a call with mum and dad. Never any support agents available. Jackson Edwards, 0478. Please call back during our customer contact hours of 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday to Friday. Ah, uh, your dogs. For general information. So it is time for dinner and I don't really know what to have. I do have a few bits and pieces prepared. We've got some veggies, tofu, vegan chicken. I just don't know what I feel like though. I would like pasta, but I know I'm gonna have that tomorrow night, probably Thursday night, probably Friday night as well, just cause I love pasta, but, and it's so easy. This brand, if you're a vegan, so easy to get protein in. 37 grams in a serving. I eat this whole packet, which is two servings. So I'm getting like 74 grams of protein in just from this pasta, not adding anything else in, so it's crazy. But that doesn't really help me for what I want to have right now. I reckon I'm just gonna have some tofu veggies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it'll be your first meal. Still, we have a little sack of banana for that. Hey, 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 I don't know why this lighting, this lighting is like really yellow. Not sure why, but anyway, we've got dinner here. We've got some um, teriyaki tofu, 
red sweet potato. If you have not got on the red sweet potato train, get on it. I think it's called Japanese or Hawaiian. There's two different ones. This one is purple on the outside, white on the inside. The other one is white on the outside, purple on the inside. Absolutely phenomenal. Kills orange sweet potato for sure. Pumpkin, broccoli or broccolini, cucumber, a little bit of rice, quinoa, seed action here. Hummus to finish it off. Not a huge dinner. I'll definitely have something after this, but just to get the macros in, some good protein, heap of veggies, get this down the hatchet, and then we'll have some dessert after this. Did you like what have I made you? Have given them some quality content or just? I've given them so much quality content. I taught them how to change a tire today. That's to be fair. That's quality. I was shocked that you did it. Did you not believe in me? Why? I thought you would have got one of the boys to do it from the studio. Uh, you can watch it all in the vlog. You can learn how to change a tire and go step by step. So we are capping off the night. A little bit of dessert. If you're a vegan out there, even if you're not vegan, this chocolate is the absolute goat. Lily said she prefers that over Cadbury. Fit with Lily. Lily with Fit recommends this over Cadbury. Get it from Coles or Woolies. And then a little bit of Love Island to finish the night. On that note, Tori, what do they got to do? Stay fearless.